Hi kids, how are you? Welcome to our Kisima Champion Service this week. And Karibu Sana, wherever you're watching us from, we're so delighted to have you. By the way, do you know this song? Na, 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 na. Hey, that's my favorite song. And today we are going to have that and so much more in the praise and worship um, before we begin the service. But before we begin, um, I, I have a tongue twister. Can you say with me? She sells seashells at the seashore. <laughs> That is so difficult. Try faster, 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 faster. And by the way, where are you watching us from? Please type on the comment section. Tell me your name and where you're watching us from. And I'll be delighted to give you feedback. So let's pray for the service. God, as we begin our service, we pray that you guide us and be with us. May we learn from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we're going to praise and worship. Bye-bye. You guys stop your feet like that? Now let's clap together. That's it. Keep it going. Let's sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Keep clapping now. Sounds good. Huh. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Yes. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Oh, that sounds so good. That's called clapping on the back beat. All right, sing this real quiet with me now. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Joy, 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 down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my 
heart, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. Clap your hands, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love, 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 love down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the love, 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 love down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to say, come on, sing and say. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy. So very happy, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the peace, 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 peace down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the peace, 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 peace down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to say, come on, sing and say, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Hello, my name is Teacher Lucy and welcome to today's service. Today we are going to do lesson four and it's, it's about faith in action. And we're going to learn how we can put our faith in action. And we're going to learn this from the story in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 5, verse 1 to 14. And in this story, we, we learn about a man called Naaman. Naaman was a commander in the army of King Aram, and he was a very good soldier. People respected him. He was highly regarded because he was a good soldier. But he had one problem, and this one problem, he had, he, he, he had leprosy. And there was a girl who was taken captive from Israel. This girl was staying in her house, in his house, sorry. And this girl, she was a slave girl. And she told her mistress uh, that if his master, who is Naaman, if his, her master would go to Israel and look for a prophet, he would get a prophet who would cure him of his leprosy. And so Naaman had, was told what the young girl said, and he went to his master, to his king, King Aram, the king of Aram, and he told the king what the young girl said to him, that there is a prophet in, in Israel who could cure him of his leprosy. And so um, Naaman, uh, the king told Naaman that he should go by all means, that he should go to Israel and get, you know, and be cured of his leprosy. And so the king wrote a letter to the king of Israel and he told the king of, of Israel that he would like him to cure Naaman, who is his servant, uh, the leprosy. And he also gave Naaman a lot of gifts to take to the king of Israel. And they went, and Naaman left and went to Israel. When he, he presented the letter to the king of Israel, the, 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 the king read the letter and he saw that it was written that he should cure Naaman of his leprosy. And he was, he was angry because he, he could not be able to cure him himself. But... So he tore his clothes and said, am I a God that I can cure him? I can cure you of your leprosy? Eh? Uh, 
I don't have the power to kill or to heal. And he was so angry and he thought that uh, the king of Aram had set him for, you know, to have a quarrel with him. But then there was one prophet called Elisha. This Elisha had what his king, the king of Israel said, that how he tore his clothes and, and he was so like disturbed. And so Elisha sent, sent a message to the king and told him, just tell Naaman to come to me, to where I am. And he will know this day that there is a prophet in Israel. And that is, so the king sent uh, Naaman to, to, to prophet Elisha. And when, so Naaman went with his chariots and horses to the door of uh, Elisha's house. And when he, uh, so he expected Elisha to come out and greet him and maybe pray to him, for him and all that. But Elisha did not do that. He just sent a message to, to Naaman and told him that to go and to wash in the river of Jordan seven times and he will be cured of his leprosy. And Naaman was angry because Elijah did not even come out of his house. He just sent a message to him. And so Naaman was so angry and said, no, why, is, uh, why did Elisha treat me like this? Are there, better, there are better rivers in Damascus where he came from than even here in Jordan because the Jordan River was muddy. And, and so uh, Naaman was very angry, but his servants told him, told him, no, if the prophet had told you to, to do a big thing, you would have done it. But he's just telling you to do a, small, a simple thing. And so uh, Naaman obeyed, or, or rather he, he listened to his servants and he went to the Jordan River. And he, he dipped because that's what the prophet Elisha told him, to dip himself seven times in the Jordan River and he will be cured. So he dipped himself seven times in the Jordan River and he was cured of, of his leprosy. So what do we learn from this story? We learn that, what, number one, Naaman had very good friends, friends that encouraged him even to listen to what the man of God told him to do. Number two, he will learn that he humbled himself. He humbled himself to go to, to, to Jordan River because the Bible tells us that God gives grace to the humble, but he opposes the proud. And we also learn that uh, he obeyed the instructions carefully. He dipped himself seven times, not three times, not two times, but seven times. And so he obeyed carefully all the instructions that he was given by the man of God. And so after obeying, the blessings followed that he was cured. He was cured of his leprosy. And so we learn from this story that when we take the first step of obeying God, God wants us to take the st first step and he wants us to follow the, his instructions carefully. So when we read the Bible and learn anything that we hear from the Bible, he wants us to take that first step. And that is the lesson that, and, that, and that's how we put our faith in action. And so I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for us according to, I'm going to pray uh, Psalms 23. Okay, and let us pray. Lord, our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you because you are our shepherd. You are, and we lack nothing from you. You are the one who makes us to lie down in green pastures and you lead us in beside still waters. You restores our soul. We are grateful because you lead us in the paths of righteousness, of, of righteousness for your name's sake. We thank you, Lord, because we will not... Even though we've passed through the valleys of the shadow of death, we will not fear any evil because your rod and your staff, they comfort us and they, and, uh, and, and Lord, we, we thank you because you prepare a table for us in the presence of our enemies. We thank you, Father, because surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. 
we thank you, Father, for what we have learned today and for your blessings upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi children, this is lesson four's craft. It's very simple because you are learning about a, a king. Uh, which king was that? You can share with us on the comment section below who, which king you think he was. He was, yes, he was. So we're making a crown. Don't worry about my crown. It doesn't look so creative and all that. But that's, that's the part that we have the crayons and the marker paints. Uh, you do have to do that and to make the crown look sweeter, better. So now, you can use anything, a manila paper. For me, I'm using a, a cake box. I don't know whose birthday it was lately. You can get a, a cake box, cut it, and then use it to make a, a crown. So how do we start cutting out the crown? It has to have a peak somewhere, and then blah, 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 to make it look nice. So let's start our craft. So I'm going to start cutting the, the, the box, box, box. So let me, let me give it the, 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 the small piece, pieces. I know how to make this thing look easier. So just fold it like that. And then, Remember, if it's hard for you to do this, to do all the cutting, you just need to go and ask your parents to help you. Ta -da -da! Magical! Hey, in a cafe. So now, after you do this, these parts here are going to fix together. So, tashikia pa kwa kisogo. Here. Ndo kitu kikubwa, but mine kicho yangu inaonekana ni kubwa kidogo. But then I have to decorate it from there. I don't know how you're going to decorate yours, but I think I'm, I'm going to leave it from there, so that you guys decorate yours make it look better, and then you take a picture of it and send it to the number on your screen so that we can see which one make, looks better. And actually, we're going to share them in our next lesson, whose craft was actually the best. So yeah, let me not decorate it for today, but you can use your glue, you can use uh, the glitter to, put, yeah, to stick the glue, and then or maybe crayons and anything else you have. Yeah, that's it for, from us today. See you next week in our next craft on Lesson 5. Well, what was your favorite part of the service? For me, I always love song and dance, so I really enjoyed the present worship. Please type on the comment section what your favorite part was, and I would be delighted to read your comments. But anyway, we hope to see you again next time, and I hope you practiced my riddle. See you, bye-bye. Woo! -hoo.